Hydralis build. He's got the Spire up, he's got the Scourge, and he's got the two hatcheries coming down, the Evolution Chamber. I think it's all signs point to yes at this point. Um, DT getting completely C blocked by that sunken colony there, and uh, the Scourge just kind of trying to hunt down what they can here. And now we see High Templars out in the field, so uh, okay, those Scourge apparently just wanted to go home. They did not want to uh, suicide bomb today. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think it's just going to be five hatch Hydras, and we're going to see uh, if Pure can hang on to his expansion pretty much against this five hatch Hydra build. And I think the five hatch Hydras, um, he should be able to hold on to the expansions because those DTs were so ineffective. Um, again, Pure just tried to break them in the front door, and effort was prepared for it, so the DTs have done essentially nothing. They've snapped a few links, but, you know, trading DTs for links is not a trade you want to be make. Um, and now we see Effort going in with a ton of links. And, um, kind of like trying to, he's not going to be able to break up this ramp with uh, the amount of zealots that uh, Pure has sitting there. But uh, it's kind of like Pure had set down like he was going to expand possibly, and that's not going to happen now for a little bit, so... Am I in front of you guys? I'm at 9.32 now. Because I saw those Zerglings and I thought, what the hell? He's building a lot of Zerglings. How, what time are you guys at? Uh, I think you're a I just got the 9.30. Alright, so 9.32. I'm just going to backtrack so I'm, I will forget everything I have seen so far. Now 36 around ish. So yeah. Um, there's a lot of Zerglings out. I thought he might have thought of being a little bit smart and actually sniping a up and coming expansion. He's now again gonna go out with those Zerglings. That's a lot of Zerglings. I don't know what the upgrades are, if he upgraded anything. He's gonna go down here now and try and snap. I think I'm way too... Yeah, I'm just going to give to Frank because I backtrack too much. Never mind. All right, it's 10, 11, 10, 12, 10, 13, 14, 15. Hopefully you got uh, on track with that. But uh, anyways, yeah, we do have uh, an interesting mix here. We got some like mutiling scourge kind of flying around here. There are a lot of corsairs in the air and a lot of cannons down at that natural, that uh, backside natural. But uh, these mutilists are going in here to pick off these uh, cannons. But all these corsairs are going to come in here, and uh, actually they're going to get ushered away by these scourge and a lot of scourge landing there. Um, a couple of them getting killed, but more Scourge, another just cloud of Scourge flying in here. But uh, yeah, the uh, Mutalisks are not doing what they uh, what they came there to do. And yeah, there's uh, Pure for some reason. They showed Pure. Usually they show the player who got fended off. But uh, yeah, Effort uh, not doing as well as I think he could be. He's got an expansion going up at the top left. But um, I don't know. I think... Uh, I, I think his just his harassments have not been doing as well as he wanted them to do, and I think that Protoss ball is just going to keep rolling and rolling and rolling and picking up units as it goes along, and uh, a couple of Scourge coming in there looking for something to kill here, but uh, yeah, this Mutalus harass, in my opinion, has been just almost completely ineffective. I don't think he's killed very many probes at all, and he's gotten a lot of Corsairs down, but uh, other than that, I don't think uh, he's done the economic damage he needs to do. Yeah, um, it hasn't been as effective as he would definitely like it to be. He's taken down some cannons, he's taken down a bunch of Corsairs, but he wasn't able to really stop the economy of Pure, which is what he's really aiming to do. And now, um, you know, it looks like he's going to try and keep this Mutalist Caras up, try and get something doing. And I don't, I haven't seen a Den go down for him yet, so I'm not sure if he's waiting for a later transition to uh, Hydra's, but I usually would think the Den would have been down by now. Um, we see uh, he engages with a bit, little bit of mutiling, but again, he's just not able to really get anything done with it. Well, yeah, I think those mutilists, it, it took down a lot of those Corsairs, and I think he's confident enough to actually stick with the mutilists for a while now, and I think he might actually go mutiling for a while. No, wait, they've got lurkers now there, so he does have a den. He's going for lurkers, but he's sticking to the air really long, and I think Pure is now going to focus on that air, thinking he's actually going to stay with some with some mutilists, uh, unless he actually does, because I don't know, if, does he have a robotics support bay? Does he have a robotics facility, I mean? Does he have an observatory up already? I don't think he does. Because of all of that air harassment, 
he hasn't done that yet and I think if these lurkers are timed right if he takes down those cannons he can actually do some pretty neat damage and actually might even get up the ramp with that because he's expanding all around the map as well all of that harassment is keeping it pure inside his base and he can do whatever he wants Hive's now going up so probably we'll see cracklings in the file soon that'll be specially designed to get up that ramp yeah absolutely this uh, this front entrance here is um it's it's pretty well designed. There's a couple cannons up there, but uh, at the same time, yeah, you get those defilers working on the on those cannons with the, all of the uh, crackling. Um, it could be pretty devastating. And also, I think this is a, a a pretty interesting build coming out of effort, in my opinion. He's going for he skipped hydralisks entirely, which we never see. But he has skipped hydralisks, and he's going for uh, just mutiling and I think he's just gonna use the upgrades on his lings from the mutiling combination to go into ultraling and now we see effort going in here and picking off three high templars with his mutilist that was actually a really really nice snipe play there um, and now uh, yeah a lot of sunken colonies at the front door with some lurkers and, and things in there but uh, we're gonna see if the Protoss is gonna be able to break this I think if the if the Protoss doesn't break this he's in a very uh, he's in a tough position he's got reinforcements coming in here I just don't think he's gonna be able to pull it off uh, even though there are a lack of um, of hydralisks in this combination that can take down those goons and that archon and what have you um, I just think uh, yeah there's a lot of lurkers in there so um, I don't know uh, I, I really don't think he's gonna be able to break this whatsoever um, I, I'm to be honest I'm looking forward to seeing the ultra link come out uh, eventually or just the defiler link because uh, going hive tech he could very well go for guardians but I think yeah there's the defilers mount now so uh, yeah it's gonna be defiler link and then ultra link I'm assuming in the very end game so uh, yeah I don't think the Protoss player is in a good position here he needs to take out some bases or uh, GG pretty much yeah, Pure is definitely, he's falling behind economically in the base count. Um, efforts on five bases last I counted once he gets that uh, most recent hatchery up. And it, Pure is really hesitating here. I think he realizes, um, I think he realized, you know, there's no Hydras out and he's not going Pure Air. So something's up, I don't want to try and push into that. And I think that was a good call by Pure. But at the same time, he really does need to take another base to, um, you know, he needs to get himself back in this game somehow. And right now, just, you know, engaging with a few lings here and there is not going to help him. And we see a shuttle going, and it's loaded with something. It's being chased by a Scourge. It gets all four Dark Templars out before it is sniped. And that was beautiful by Pure, because he's cleared this expansion. And now, you know, they're showing on effort, and it doesn't look like he's even got reinforcements in the area. Now the uh, the Mutalis 